This is the most powerful and aesthetic gaming PC basically ever. We have the best looking 4090 out there, the all white Asus ROG Strix 4090. And we have got it paired with the brand new NZXT H9 white gaming PC case. This is by far the most impressive gaming PC that I have ever built. So I'm gonna be showing you guys everything along with testing it in game, just to show you guys how much of a beast this PC really is. Before I start unboxing the 4090, shout out to Zen for sending all of this for absolutely free with their title sponsor, Paradox. Customs. Paradox Customs has built PCs for Drake, The Weeknd, James Harden, and a bunch of other celebrities. So if you want the top of the line PCs, make sure you check out Paradox Customs with the first link in the description and use code Zen for a quick discount. I've literally been so excited to unbox one of these and it's literally taken me so long to just get a 40 series graphics card and to just get the 4090 out of all of them is literally insane. Oh my gosh, I ripped the box, bro. I wanted to keep this thing. Look at this thing. It's literally so heavy. I'm gonna unbox it for you guys first like this oh my gosh bro this thing looks so huge i don't even know like how to take it out bro this thing is heavy oh my this is miles bigger than a 3090 this is like a complete this is like an actual game console this is like the size of a ps5 look at this thing compared to the size of my head bro this is literally so big. I need to get a size comparison, but man, this looks so sick. This thing is so expensive. I'm like actually scared to hold it, bro. Dude, to think this is like more, like this single card is the pro probably more expensive than most people's gaming PCs is insane, bro. Look at this. Let me get a size comparison though. This is the 4090 and this is a brand new Xbox Series S and it's literally taller than it. And in terms of width, Let's do this without breaking anything. Look, they're like the exact same. This thing is massive, bro. I've never seen something so big. And how is this supposed to fit inside the PC, bro? This is like barely gonna fit inside. This is crazy. We don't need the 4090 just yet. So let's put it back in its box carefully. And voila, we're good. Now for the motherboard, I went with the Asus B650 and it's of course in the all white color and for about $300, it should definitely do the job. Okay, let's pull it out like so and we of course got like the typical kind of manuals and just a bunch of random cables that we won't even need. Hey, they even gave us like a little Asus keychain holder. I don't even know what these are called, but hey, pretty nice touch if you ask me, you know? This is how the motherboard looks. It's a full-size motherboard and it kind of has like more of a kind of silver, not all white color, but it will still look really, really nice in the build. And of course, you also have a bunch of ports over here. So let's set this on the box and start adding things to the motherboard. For the CPU, I went with the Ryzen 9 7900X and we also have 12 cores in this beast. So it is definitely one of the most powerful CPUs out there. I actually was thinking about getting the Core i9 13900K, but ultimately just decided on getting this one. So let's just quickly put it in just like so. There we go. And just like that, our CPU is installed. Of course, for the RAM, I had to go with DDR5 since we're literally using a 4090. So this is the Trident Z5 and it's 32 gigabytes of RGB RAM. And it's extremely fast because it's also 6,000 megahertz. This is actually like my third PC build ever. So it's pretty crazy that for my third PC build, I'm literally building like a 4090 and just a beast gaming PC. We've got a one terabyte SSD and it's gen four. I think it cost me around $110, but it still is pretty good. If you have a generation five SSD, I'm pretty sure that you have to put it into this specific slot just to take like full advantage of it. Okay, just put that in like so. And now we can just screw this plate back on. Before we put this back plate on, I actually almost forgot to take off this little wrapping. I don't really know why it is. I think it's just for like a little sticky pad thingy. But yeah, I always forget to do this, but let's just take off all the peels on the motherboard before we actually add it into the PC case, just so I don't forget in the future. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a brand new NZXT H9 gaming PC case, and it looks extremely similar to the O11 Dynamic, except it actually doesn't have like a pillar over here. Instead, it's just two glass points and they meet, in my opinion, and makes it look a lot cleaner and just gives you a better visual of the PC case. But Apart from that, they're like really, really similar. There's just a single thumb screw and then we can take off the side panel just like so. Just like that, we have the side panel and this thing is actually pretty heavy. Let's just set this somewhere on the side make sure we don't break it. And then here is how the interior of the PC looks. In the old H7 and H5 from NZXT, this entire back panel wasn't really that open. So a huge problem with the case was the airflow wasn't really that good. So now instead they actually replaced the entire 
entire back with like this I don't know little kind of circle design it just kind of gives a lot more airflow and of course there's also just one more thumb screw on the back over here so it's like really easy you don't need like any screwdrivers or anything like that and on the back it looks like it has a little bit of velcro straps over here kind of helping with cable management you've got all your kind of typical cables and then of course let's take off this little uh cardboard box here Another huge benefit to this PC case is that there's a lot of space just for cables and everything because this case is like really, really big. Now let's set our motherboard without dropping it. Hopefully we can get this first try. It went in perfectly and now all we have to do is just screw the motherboard in. Okay, just like that, we have the motherboard installed and it is already looking really, really nice. Of course, it's not turned on at all, but it's still looking really, really good. For the power supply, in order to power this entire PC, especially with a 4090 of course we needed a lot of power so i went with a 1000 watt power supply from thermaltake hey it's actually kind of fancy we got a whole little pouch for all of our cables okay i like the quality you know and now here is our 1000 watt power supply and there we go power supply is in everything is going very very well and it is now time for the actual cooling, so we gotta install like all the fans, the RGB fans of course, and the CPU cooler. For the cooler, Paradox Custom sent me the H150i Elite LCD XT. I don't know why the name is so long, but it's basically a cooler from Corsair. Let's just say that. Oh, and if you guys didn't already realize, of course, we got it in white, cause this is a white themed build, you know what I'm saying? Man, I hate installing coolers, bruh. This is gonna, I, I already can tell I'm gonna mess up somehow. I don't even know how, but I just know I'm gonna mess up. It also comes with like this Corsair fan hub, which I'm pretty sure if you buy this separately is like $70 or something. So it's pretty expensive. I'm gonna pop it up on screen just to make 100% sure. But yeah, really nice that they add this. Yo, no way this does not come with thermal paste, bro. That's actually so annoying. Now all we have to do is screw in all three of these Corsair fans into the AIO. So this is actually pretty annoying. In order to install the AIO, I need to take out both of these brackets. But since this kind of PC is pretty unique, the power supply is kind of up over here instead of where it is usually over here. So I actually need to unscrew the power supply and just leave it out right now just so I can actually install the AIO. And it's just kind of annoying. But yeah, just in case if any of you guys are gonna be building in this PC case, I thought I'd just let you know. Okay, it's now the next day and it actually turns out that AIO was a lot easier to install than I thought. All I had to do was basically change out these brackets over here and then just screw it in and it was basically already ready. And then of course I mounted the AIO right over here like with all the fans and everything. And now it's time to add all the like RGB fans around the PC. I'm really going for aesthetics with this PC build. So I asked Paradox Customs to send me a bunch of fans and they sent me nine of these Lee and Lead 120 millimeter RGB fans. For the first set of fans, I'm gonna install three of them right over here at the bottom of the PC case. All right, so I actually finished putting in all the fans. We got three fans up here, three over here, and I wanted to put one right here, but the problem is the Lean Lee fan was just too big. So I just put back uh, the normal NZXT white one. It's not RGB, but for now it will do. Probably in the future, I might change it. I might even put one of those like cool little screens you guys might see in some of the custom builds. But yeah, now it's time for the part I've been waiting for, and I'm sure you guys have been waiting for, is installing the 4090. Every time I look at this thing, it's literally so cool. And right now, all I have to do is just take off all these little pieces of plastic covering it. I have no idea how, but it says this thing is only two brackets. Yo, I actually have to be so careful. Okay, I think if we push, it should fit in. It took a little bit of force, but look at this thing. It literally covers part of the AIO. But yeah, now I'm just gonna screw it in and hopefully it doesn't sag too much, but in the future I might get like a GPU kind of stand here because I assume this thing is gonna start sagging a little bit. Yo, this thing is so heavy. I'm not even kidding, bro. Especially with the GPU in. This is gonna be so good. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't take me too long to set up all the cables. This is usually, since I'm kind of new to building PCs, this is usually where I screw up pretty bad. So yeah, I'm just gonna probably put everything together and then we'll do the cinematic of the final PC with all the RGB and everything turned on. So let's cue the montage.
I actually talked to the guys over at Paradox Customs and they gave me some recommendations for this PC. So I should actually move this radiator, like all these three fans, like the AIO all the way up there and then move these three fans over on the side here. Plus, I actually didn't know that you could fit one of these Lean Lee fans right over there. So I'll probably also replace that. And I was planning to get like a white cable, but for now we have to deal with this ugly uh, black one. But yeah, as soon as I get the white cable, I'm gonna route it like right on top of it. It's just is gonna make it look a whole lot cleaner. But for now, the temps shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. But right now the CPU temps, I'm not gonna lie, are like really, really high. For the part you guys care about the most though, for the FPS, it says in Fortnite we're getting around 1,000 and it also says over here we're getting around 1K and keep in mind this is literally like not optimized at all. I just jumped off the bus and we're getting 500 FPS right now. It actually dipped quite a bit down. It's actually like varies a lot. Yeah, now it's picking back up. It's going up to like 550 and if you cap it at like 240, which most competitive players will do, you will literally get that like 240 FPS hard. It will probably not drop at all. And it's also gonna feel like super smooth. There's actually so many guys around me. I can't even tell because of this. Okay, there we go. Just a ball right there. Yo, I didn't even want to get in the trash can, bro. No way I died to this kid. Okay, there we go. It's, uh, oh my, wait, this is a real player right here. Yo, I, I don't even know what's going on, bro. And my kill just got robbed. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> what, dude? There we go, right hand, 67, are you serious right now, dude? Oh wait, okay, yeah, there he is. I'm, oh, I have no shotgun bullets. <coughs> There's a guy just camping up here. Okay, now is a good time to test out the builds, you know? This feels so good. Even if you got it optimized, it'd be even better, bro. This feels so much better than a 3090. Oh yeah, here's someone, finally. And yeah, definitely an AI, nice, dude. Okay, wait, it says, oh shoot, he's right here. Oh, no, no, no. This is not good. Oh my, 88, okay. Okay, wait, and this guy's right here. Oh, GG's. Oh, I don't even know what happened. I thought I had my SMG out, but that works too. Thunder pump, actually not really, 29 damage. There we go, wrong button, okay. Okay, this guy barely knows how to build too. This is not, am I? I thought I died. Come on, I know you wanna edit. Oh, I should not have edited that. Oh my gosh, how am I alive? Just like this. Oh, he's just a clueless player. All right, 11 kills, easy dub. This is actually so good, bro. 500 FPS, 700 FPS the whole game, super consistent. Okay, now we got Valorant up and we're getting about 500 to 600, even sometimes 700 FPS. And I'm just in like a normal game right now. There we go, one tap. <laughs> Look at this guy, bro. Vermax the Clutch Master, imagine. Oh shoot, what? The? No, I needed that. Yes. What, a, what bot lobbies am I in, bro? Just like this. One tap, I'm a bot, I misclicked. I saw you, there you are. There we go, I'm just blind if I still win this. Oh, pfft. yo. Make sure you guys check out Paradox PCs with the first link in the description and also use code ZEN for a quick discount. Again, huge thanks to Paradox for sending out this entire PC for completely free. And if you guys wanna see me test out more games with the 4090, I'd definitely be down just to see how good this graphics card really is. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'd also enjoy this one right over here. And that's about it, God bless.